Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. If you have search field in your tables, would you be curious to know what your users are searching for? Because by default, it doesn't stay in any logs anywhere, it's just in the URL or in the browser of the user. So wouldn't it be cool to first log those searches somewhere and second, show them in additional filament resource? So in this video, I will show you how. For example, if you search for professor, for example, these are fake names, so that's why it's with professor. Or if someone else then search for Doris, for example, another result in products, and then in the users, for example, I search for Brandy, it also returns the result, and then the magic happens here. Search logs will show those searches and if we try to search again which means someone else for example search for the same keyword of prof then in the search logs we will see search count as two so we experimented with that and released two tutorials one for free and one is premium so on filament examples on the home page or in the menu of tutorials you can see free tutorial about how to add the search queries to the database and I will show you the details in this video but also premium project involves the menu item of showing those search logs grouping the way that I've shown you just now. So let's dive into the code. First we create the search log database so we have a new migration and the model related to that. Now in filament how do you save that data into the table automatically? So we created a PHP trait for that to be reused in multiple resources or multiple places. So we're overriding the global search results function and if we do have a search we do search log which means basically if the search is not empty and then we still call the parent function. So that trait is then used in multiple places and the same thing happens with track table search but here we override a different method of apply column searches to table query which happens every time someone searches in the table again we're calling parent function after we check if there is a search then we do that logging of the data and then the track table search is used as a trait in list products of the product resource so just do track table search and that's it similarly in the list users so app filament resources user resource pages list users also uses track table search in addition to that the resource itself so if we open product resource we have track global search let me show you that so we have the global search here and if we search for prof for example it shows something and then in the search logs we see that in the product resource count as three now and in the user resource as well with the same search query of course you can get creative with how to view that data but this was our approach so let's take a look at that search log resource and it has tables of resource search query and search count and it has grouping with default group of resource and we modify the initial query let's close the sidebar with adding the select of count of search query so it's a raw query of eloquent grouping by resource and search query which is this one and that one so yeah this is our approach what do you think as usual i'm repeating that to work with filament in advanced mode you need to learn livewire laravel sometimes tailwind and alpine js and then it all comes together and then you can customize filament in many ways in that case you're only partially working with filament and working a lot with underlying layers and again if you want the full code of all that project and want to play around in the filament examples in the project section this is the one on the left among 64 premium projects that we have here at the moment and you get access to all of them at once including the future projects and updates if you purchase filament examples membership that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos